There are classes happening all over Carolina this semester, but uh, none of them resemble what's happening in Carol 111. The atmosphere makes the students more comfortable, and when they're more comfortable, they're better able to learn. A student who hasn't seen the room since it was renovated will think they're in a different space altogether. We completely gutted it with this renovation and went down to the studs, lowered the ceiling, converted the sloping floor to these three tiers, replaced all of those tiny 1950s sized chairs with tables for four. When you walk in the room now, you're wowed by the fact that there are 14 screens that can be displaying 14 different things. But what really contributes to student learning is the layout of the furniture and the placement of the chairs for the students. Instead of having to sit with like 90 other people and face one direction, it's structured to where you, you're given problems and you can work them out. And it's a lot of like talking with your peers and explaining topics. I think it really helps like your ability to learn about the material. Teaching in this configuration, I as the instructor can get to any student who has a question easily. I'm no longer limited to recognizing the people who choose to sit down front every morning or were seated along the aisles. It was very hard to climb in. I think that the benefit is that like when students get to work together towards solving a problem, their understanding of like the material is definitely enhanced. It's not a one and done um, project. This is an opportunity for us. There's financial support from the chancellor and provost's office that will continue to allow for us to redesign spaces to modernize the spaces across campus with an active learning technique in mind.